This morning, Joanne Meekins is our speaker, and she is the founder of Inspired for You Ministries, LLC, and Inspired for You Publications, which provide spiritually-based products, information, and services. She is a writer, publisher, speaker, coach, and author of six books. She's a survivor of rape, betrayal, fear, loneliness, and divorce. Joanne is on a mission to empower women to speak their truth out loud, to value themselves, and to be victorious over unfavorable circumstances and situations. She also instructs writers in publishing projects and supports entrepreneurs in creating products, documents, and promotional materials to enhance their professional image and increase their visibility. Joanne is divinely and passionately purposed to enlighten, encourage, and empower. And she shall do that for us this morning. Welcome to the love journey, Joanne Meekins. Amen. Thank you so much for that introduction. <laughs> the way you did it, it just touched my spirit. So I thank you for your passion and your purpose. Good Good morning, you. family. <laughs> it is so good to be here sharing with you again. And Jackie, I thank you for inviting me. I haven't been a regular on the love journey since um, January 2014, and I haven't shared here since November 20th, 2014. So I am truly honored for this opportunity today. So, Lala, can you speak? Can you speak up a little? I don't know if other people are having a little challenge hearing you. Oh, you okay. Speak up. We don't want. I don't want to miss. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, can you hear me now? Is that better? Not too much better. <laughs> Not on my end. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, now how about now? Not much better for me. Now, okay. I don't All know right. if other people, how other people are hearing you. Hello, can you hear me now? Much better. <laughs> Loud and clear. That's what I want to hear. Oh, Thank praise you so God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so again, good morning, and um, just to give you a little update, because it's been a while since I've been here, I've been well and very busy about doing my father's business and doing some self-love care, and mom is good. She's still um, impaired by loss of memory and language skills from the stroke, but God has blessed her and me with some outside support to help me care for her and approved her for seven days, seven hours, and so... um. It's so funny because God answers prayer, and he just recently reminded me that when I was a child, I had always desired for her to have a housekeeper other than me. (laughs) And he has answered prayer, and he has relieved a lot of stress through uh, many resources that he's made available to me. So I thank you, family, for your prayers, you know, throughout this challenge. Okay, so let me get started. I want to share first uh, one of my poems called Breaking Beyond, and it is based on Isaiah 54, verses 2 and 3, which reads, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. Breaking beyond. Enlarge the surroundings where you reside. Break through the confinements that imprison your mind. Daily affirm your dreams. Feel it become alive. Focus and face your fears. Press forward with your best try. Plant your passion inside the universe. Expect a vision that will evolve into a full-term birth. Explore the terrain that you seek to know. As you discover opportunities, prepare to grow. Investigate to educate, study, live, and learn. Life's greatest achievements are always hard-earned. 
Embrace the unfolding ministry that's within your hand. Then use it to make a difference everywhere you can. Exceed stagnating conditions that oppress you and self-limitations that hinder you too. Your descendants will conquer where you excel and lead and have a legacy to claim if you will dare to live your dream. Receive Jesus Christ for the power to reach new heights and stretch beyond. It's the first step towards your breakthrough. It's the way to liberation. Amen. My message for today is fear not. You got this, and God got you. Yes, you got this because you possess all the ingredients to make a victory pie, so fear not. Conquer fear with faith. Believe who God is and who he said you are and have the ability to do. Then walk in it. So who is God? God is love. God is our all in all. God is the author and finisher of our faith. God is more than enough. God is our provider, our protector, and anything and everything you and I need him to be. Who are you? You are powerful. You are more than a conqueror. You are wonderfully made, and you are a child of the king and a member of the royal priesthood. You are chosen and called to minister to others in your unique way, right where you are, using what you have. You are also inseparable from God, and when you trust in him completely with your entire being, he will be your mouthpiece. Order your steps, make your crooked places straight, give you transcending peace, and not let you be put to shame. These are all truths found in your B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. Now you may ask, How does one conquer fear with faith and walk in it? By looking fear in its lying face and remembering what God has already done for you and brought you through. And then press forward in faith to fulfill your assignment. You connect with spiritual support of like-minded individuals who have your best interests at heart. You be transparent and authentic, and ask for support when needed. You learn to encourage yourself. You choose to face your fear and do it anyway, every day, believing that you got this and God got you. My story, that's what I do. I feel the fear, take a breath, make a call, or send a text for support, and then I do what needs to be done. Commit to your cause. Fully commit to yourself, your business, your job, your family, your community, your church, or whatever it is for you. Make sure your actions are in alignment with your words. Give it 100% of your effort to make it work. Being double-minded will not yield maximum results. Instead, It will lead to frustration and manifest illness. How do you do that? Set an intention and make a decision about what you want in life and how you want to experience it. And then release control of the details and worry about how to make it happen. God knows the details and have already set the plan, people, place, and things to your success and position. You choose to be 100% committed to the cause, goal, or dream, and remember that you got this and God got you. My story, committing to my desire to work from home and grow my business, I resigned my... um, I had a seven-year policies and procedure writing job, and I resigned in um, July 2010 because I felt spirits leading me out of my comfort zone to step into my purpose. I didn't have a clue. 
how I was going to monetize that. But when my 401k began to run out in 2011, I knew I needed to do something. So I completed a life coaching course and an entrepreneurship program. But instead of launching into my gifts and honoring my desire to work from home in my own business, I started doing online surveys and mystery shops and, you know, because I wasn't trusting God enough or myself, and I wasn't confident in my abilities to be successfully self-employed. So I ended up having to give up my apartment and move back home with my mom. And um, I continued to straddle the fence of working my business and relying on traditional income until the end of 2013, December, I had this assignment I had contracted to do. And I got sick, and I couldn't honor it. And I felt so bad. And then I remember this is a respiratory illness. It only comes when I get allow myself to get overwhelmed and I'm just not being obedient. And so I knew, I saw God's hand in it, and I knew then that I had to make a decision that I could no longer, it was no longer an option for me. I had to make a decision. I had to make a commitment. I had to trust God and know that is this what I want to do? And if this is what I want to do, I had to make a commitment to do it. And so I turned within, I let go of some outside responsibilities one being my commitment to the um, to the prayer line so that I could focus on what God called me to do. I had a tendency of putting more energy in everybody else's dream, everybody else's vision, just doing, being more passionate about other people and their stuff than I was about my own. And God was telling me, no more, no more. Creativity builds confidence. When you are good at what you do, and know what you bring to the table, your confidence and self-worth will grow with each use of your creativity and the positive feedback you receive. As your gifts make room for you, you will recognize the value of who you are and what you offer. You are divinely purposed to do what you are gifted in and passionate about that thing that gives you great joy and you just do naturally. Fear not. You got this and God got you. My story again. I'm pretty good with the computer and administrative tasks, and I've always liked being creative with documents and helping people effectively express their feelings and content. But I didn't get bold and confident in the use of those gifts professionally until I was drafted into doing the work by people who believed in me more than I did at the time. God was stretching me and opening up greater opportunities, and I was fearful about the enormity of the responsibility and my ability to perform to customer satisfaction until I said yes and saw that I was the best person for the job and gifted in my ability to help others professionalize their presence. I didn't start publishing books until Reverend Valerie Love clued me in about Create Space when I was looking um, for an economical way to publish, republish my second poetry book at Excellence, and then went on to do five of my own and helped several others with theirs. And although I used to edit papers and letters and such, I didn't start editing books until Linda Washington Yerby passionately insisted I do hers, and then Rosa J. followed. My financial turning point came with doing a last-minute fly for Queen Hostess Claudette inside of Enterprises in August 2014, and we've been working together monthly ever since. I started creating websites, promo materials, social media, blog edits, and more with her. She keeps stretching me. Thanks, Claudette. But there is something about a monthly client and repeat customers creating a steady income doing what you love that is affirming and builds confidence and led me to pray for more like that. And God answered right from within my networking community. Now I'm actively promoting my brand, identifying people who could use my services and making offers. Consistency seals success. Work toward your desires daily, either in practice, prayer, pursuit, or persistence. 
Just keep taking the steps toward full manifestation. That includes showing up fully present, speaking up so that you stand out. You will see results from the inside out and be motivated to continue. I've been on a mission to make it, exposing myself to people who are where I desire to be and are freely sharing how to do it. I always show up in my communities ready to participate and recently learned that when you get seen and heard, you can also get paid. I'm now focused on applying what I've been learning and continue to do what I've done that works. God is enlarging my territory and blessing me abundantly and will do the same for you. So fear not. You got this and God got you and me. And remember, to conquer fear with faith, Commit to your cause. Your creativity builds confidence and consistency seals success. Thank you for allowing me to share. Amen. Wow. Boy, I was taking notes. (laughs) (laughs) I was typing it up. I was like, should I get a pen? Thank you, Joanne Meekin. I don't know who else was blessed, but Deborah M. Ricks was immensely blessed. You have spoken to me. Amen. You have spoken to me. Mm. In this season, I'm in a season of, you have spoken to me. Family, friends, new callers. I am going to open the line. I just want you to ask a question because as I was listening to you, Joanne, Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about some people I know. I was thinking about myself. And um, I know many of us who are on this call, we are entrepreneurs. We are people who we are so talented, so blessed with so many skills. And yet, I know that fear is not unusual. It's not unusual for us to fear our ability to monetize our gifts. And as you said, your 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 um your 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 gifts will make room for you, and that's biblical. Mm-hmm. And we know that, and and yet we don't trust that. And I love. I mean, I was taking so many notes. I can't. I can't possibly go through all of them. And I couldn't keep up. I couldn't quite, but I got some <laughs> real jewel. I really got some real jewels here. And one thing that you said, just a few things that you said that um, just just really struck me, uh, that creativity builds confidence, and and that when you use your confidence, then and then you get the feedback from people, then that grows your confidence. Mm-hmm. And and when you said yes. Because you really just spoke the truth for many of us. It was like when you first say I'm, you're going to do something, it's not uncommon just for fear to come and slap you in the face. The next thing you know, you're online doing all this other mm-hmm. important stuff. And that's yes. what you said. You were, you were doing everything but doing what you said you would do because you were afraid. Mm-hmm. But then you, then you just then you said yes, and then you said you have to stretch yourself and pray and, and be in pursuit and be persistent and you just dropped some beautiful jewels, and I and I, I'm glad that I had an opportunity to capture um, what you said. And the essence of what you said for me is that we have to trust God in ourselves. Yes. That's the essence of it. That, and then also, I love the way that your our community, the people you named, I mm-hmm. know them now. They came and they see. This is also important that we support each other. Yeah. And that they came and they said, "Hey, I want you to do this." And then they trust. Oh, I do some more. Okay. And 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 this is what community is about. That you 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 line my pockets. I line your pockets. I I I, I employ you and you employ me. Amen. That's really what community is about. And I I just so thank you for sharing and being transparent about the. You didn't just go from that job in 2010 to success, right? You shared yeah, no. that you shared the detours that we often take because we are afraid, and it makes me think about Marianne Williamson, and she says we're really afraid of our our, our brilliance and our light and how powerful we really are. 
rather than it's it's not it's not what it appears. We really are free. We are very very powerful. So mm-hmm. thank you so much. And oh, I'm opening up the line now. If you have a, a question well, or a comment, come on, Rose. Is that Rosa J? Yes, it is. And um, Joanne Meekin. <laughs> yes. Girl, I want to tell the truth. She lied because <laughs> when I met Joanne, it was through the coaching, write your book in 90 days. And in the midst of that, I became blind. The only reason why I have a book today is because Joanne called me and would not let me say no. This girl hassled the heck out of me until (laughs) finally I had to surrender and say, okay, Joe, if you can do this, all right. And she actually, all I did was send her the, the stuff the book, the message, the, and she did everything else because I could not sing. Mm. And I am so grateful for her because I, when she called me, I had pretty much given up on everything. I mean, everything I did at that time was about my sight. I was in the sound room at my church. I did the videos. I did all that, and I could not see And then I got into this book thing. And I tell you, the day the book class started was the day I went blind. Hmm. And the day that I got my book published, I remember it today as if it happened yesterday, when they sent me the final copy. Now, mind you, I didn't do anything but give Joanne what I could write and see. I just sent it to her. And the day that my book was published was the day that I got my sight back. Wow. And mm-hmm. it was only because she prodded me. I mean, constantly. Because I was like, Joe, I can't do this. I can't even see the buttons on the computer. And she used to tell me, I was like, just leave it alone, Rose. I'll do everything. You ain't got to do nothing. Just give me the material. And she really actually walked me through that. And then she just re upped my re um did my website, which I am so pleased with. I love it. Um, so you know, this is an amazing woman. You know, um she not only does the job but she nurtures you through. I I love the way she cuddles you with her love. She, even when she was fussing with me, she she made me laugh. <laughs> and she used to fuss with me a lot because, see, I'm one of the people that think I can do it no matter what. And she'd be like, girl, what have you done now? Will you please leave this thing alone? I got you. And when she says, don't worry about it, remember that God, you know, you got this and God got this. So, you know, I am just so pleased with having to have met you. And have a relationship. That's not just business, but friendship is important. I mean, and don't get me wrong, girl, we used to fuss. <laughs> <laughs> but we can laugh about it because I grew. Amen. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing. I am grateful for you. And I wish you nothing but the best in everything you are doing and being because you are amazing. So thank you so much, my sister. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa J. Um, Good morning. This is Brother King from Baltimore. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Give me just a second. I just want to throw this out there because Rosa J made me think of it, and as I said, I took some notes. So I want to throw this out there for those who are going to pipe in in a minute and make a comment or question. Um, That uh, one thing that Joanne said that really – I think it's so, so, so important for us to remember to be transparent and authentic and ask for support. And that's very challenging for many of us to do. And I have seen how that has worked miracles in my life, that I'm learning how to ask for support. 
just wanted to, to, to be people to hear that and, and she was speaking fast and she was dropping some jewels, okay? So I wanted that to, you know, because a lot of us do have, a, you know, we challenge with asking for support and if, if you're not transparent, people don't know what you need. They won't know. If you're inauthentic and act like you got it all by yourself and we don't do this solo anyway, this journey is not supposed to be done solo. So I just want to reiterate that beautiful jewel right there. It's your time, King. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> For you to say it like that is awesome. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thing. wow. Wow, that hit me like with like that hit me like a gold like a golden brick. <laughs> it has to be gold because prosperity is sure not coming. Um, Amen. And um, Joanne, I just wanted to let you know that because of the seed that Rosa J had put in my spirit, I had ran into God is just so amazing because I gave thought to what she shared with me regarding a website. And she brought your name to the forefront as to my uh, salvation and getting things done. And mm-hmm. so um, this past Sunday uh, in the sermon, the, 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 the brother said, how do you become 10 times greater? And it resonated in my spirit because he said three things. Speak up, uh, dream your biggest dreams, and preparation is the key. Now, today, and listening to you, because I considered that, you know, I need to really go ahead and sit my tail down and have somebody help me through what I need to do because what I need to do is just, like, super large. Um, right now, I'm going to do a 5,000 Kings call. Um, out of um, Atlanta, Baltimore, Chicago, and Detroit. And I need to get the Souls of Life Society website up. And Mm -hmm. I am asking at this time on this platform for you to uh, to elicit your services so that we can get this thing done. Um, Because it's (laughs) what you say, King, it's your time. Stop (laughs) saying (laughs) <laughs> and that is so bizarre because you said in your um in your sharing the thing about speak up. And what I try to do is listen for confirmation as the spirit continues to lead me and guide me to where I need to be and what I need to do. And I can't do it all. I, I just can't do it all. And I'm not trying to fool myself. So I have to have the uh, services of others to help me make it to the next level. It's it's the only way. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting in a corner somewhere uh, like I have been in the past. Well, now let's, put, let's, let's change that vibration because that's something else I've learned from Love Journey. Speak what is to be as yeah. it is already received. Mm-hmm. So I'll no longer be sitting in a corner anymore because there's much work to be done. And the assistance of the universe is just waiting for. I, I'm I lost for words. I'm lost for words. I'm already lost for words. So I'm done. <laughs> um, we, we need to connect, and, and and we need to get this done. So because I ain't finished. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It Thank is you. not. Thank it you. Is, Joanne, Thank you. you want to? You want Good morning. Good morning. Have anything to say? Good morning. <laughs> Is that Claudette? Yes, ma'am. This is Claudette. Just waiting to get in. All righty. <laughs> Good morning, Love Journey family. Good morning. Thank you so much for hosting one of my most favorite people, uh, Joanne Meekins. And this uh, work that I'm trying to do as an entrepreneur, she has taken me not to new heights, to greater heights. And she's going to be with me as we go further on. And I encourage anybody on this line looking for someone who will take you on and work with you personally to help you go further, call Joanne Meekins. She's a great taskmaster. 
she does it with love. And for me personally, she she's growing me. I mean, I was so afraid of uh, even just getting out there. What are they going to say? Are they going to want to hear from me? I have people come up and they're just, oh, you're Spider Enterprise because of Joanne's work out there, not because of what I've done, I feel, and it's the presence. So, King, invest in that social media presence. It will change everything that you do. Thank you, Joanne. I'm going to get courage too soon to start asking for money for the great work that you and I are doing on the Cider Enterprises Book Club conference call. Thank you. Thank you, Claudette. I'm I'm looking through my notes to see if uh, Joanne said anything about courage, but I can tell you this, that it comes from just doing. It's not... You know, Claudette, you waiting, it ain't going to happen. You just got to do it, and you got Joanne on your, with you and the rest of us. And so courage is something that comes with doing. I, I've i tried to get it the other way just by imagining it, but it doesn't work that way. And you already doing the doggone thing anyway. So. Amen. That's right. You know, she's she doing it. She's doing it. We doing A lot of times we are doing it, but we don't trust that we're doing it and that we're doing it well. And I yeah. love what you said, Joanne, about that you get the feedback. And and mm-hmm. call that you getting feedback from us and the universe that you are doing the doggone thing. And all you mm-hmm. got to do is start to, we, we, and I include myself, the more I trust that I am in an alignment with what I say I'm up to. Because you, you talked about it, Joanne. You said something about your calling. Um, commit to your calling. Mm-hmm. Commit to your calling. Commit to your calling. And when we commit to our calling and the details are handled by God, so thank you so much, Claudette, for, for your vote of confidence with Joanne, because this is what it's all about. Anyone else comment a question, or do you want to say anything, Joanne? Cause yes, yeah, I do. Yes, oh. yes. Oh. good morning. Okay, good thanks, morning, good morning. Call. Good morning. Give us just one minute, Joanne. Go ahead, and then this is Linda. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Joanne, yes. and then Linda, you're next. Yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, one of the things that I try to encourage people to do, like Claudette, like Jackie, because I was on Jackie's call last night, and that was a powerful call, and I just listened to her speak and share in such power. It was beautiful. And I, and I tell Claudette the same thing, the call that she holds. Listen to yourself. Go listen to the replay. See how you show up in the world. It is a powerful thing. You are making a difference. You have influence. And as you see the value that you give and contribute, your self-worth is going to grow. You're going to get to the point now, especially when you're doing the work out there and and providing the service, you're going to get to the point where, hey, wait a minute now. I need to get paid for some of this stuff that I'm putting out there because you got to eat too, <laughs> you know. So I'm just putting that out there. But go check yourself out. You know, you you on listen to your recordings, y'all. Y'all be sounding good, and you be making a difference, and you make an impact. Even you, Deborah, just when you um when you like the brother said the way you said it, the way you read my introduction. I mean, I was like, oh my goodness. Well, all right. Is that me? <laughs> I, I look. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. It is, and it's growing. I'm claiming it. I did a talk last night called "Your Word Are Creative." You, you know, your word. We. I did a, a speech last night on and on power. And what I know for sure is that I'm speaking it. I'm not speaking any more of that crazy stuff that I I don't get paid. Because, see, the more if you speak that I get paid, I am paid, I am paid, what comes after I am, that's what Mm -hmm. we create. So you're absolutely right about that. We just have to walk in it and believe it and stand in it. And like you said, listen if you need to. Go back and listen to your call. And I really think, Joanne, there's something about, the vibration that we have to cultivate, because that's why I listen to Reverend Ike. I listen to Reverend Ike. I listen to people like him regularly because it's a feeling that we must cultivate that says, I am worthy. And that is, without the, the, the feeling of being worthy, we're going to push away. It's not because money and opportunities aren't coming to us. We are pushing them away. Mm-hmm. We're not allowing them. It's like just, just standing on that 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 
that water hose. The water is trying to rush through, but we're pitching it. We've we got it all tangled up. And, and, and for me, it's really about cultivating that, that knowing that I am worthy. And that, to me, is that because I, when, when I listen to people like Claudette and Rosa and all of you, I'm bowled over by your talent and your power. And so if I am, other people are too. And we just have to cultivate within us the knowing that we are worthy of the green stuff. That's all. Amen. And so it That's is, it. Linda, it is you. <laughs> you are it. <laughs> Yes, good morning, good morning. Uh, Minister Joanne Meekin, my sister in Christ, I love you. Thank you for showing up this morning and for being present and for serving. You know, from day one when I met you, you've ministered to my heart. You've ministered to my heart through walking the talk. You don't just say it, you do it. And I love you for that. You're my good conscience. You sit on my right shoulder and you remind me of who I am by standing tall in everything that you do. So thank you, sister. Thank you for doing it anyway, in spite of how it looks, and for walking and knowing God's word in your spirit and in your life. You represent consistency to me. I can I can count on you. I know if you have an assignment, you're going to get it done. You're going to be focused, you're going to be clear, but most of all, you're going to be obedient. You're going to check in with God and find out what he wants, and you're going to follow his call. So thank you. Thank you for learning how to love yourself and to be, for being a prime example of what self-love, self-care, doing it anyway in spite of what things look like and standing on God's word. I love you, my sister, and I adore you. I'm so glad that you are in my life. <laughs> thank you. I love you, too. It works, and thank you. Thank you for loving thank, me. Thank you, Linda. That cheered me up. Um, yes, your your love and your recognition of just something about the way you spoke it. It's just really it's got me feeling real grateful yeah. Uh, that uh, the love that, that we share the love and um, thank you for that. Anyone thank else? Just comment. So let me and so if you have a question or comment, I'm going to right now interrupt this important program for this important message. Uh, tomorrow we will be blessed with two amazing people that will host tomorrow's call. And we're going to get the masculine energy and we're going to get the feminine energy. And, oh, my God, the music that masculine and feminine energy make. Oh, it's just beautiful to me. I I, I see the symbol of the, that uh, the yin and the yang. Janine and James will be hosting tomorrow's call. Uh, we have a guest speaker Ayana Mojica, and if you want to learn more about her, you can go to her website, um, dot com. Ayana Mojica, beautiful name, and uh, she will be our guest tomorrow, Janine A. Ingram, and James Gilmore will be hosting. So you you know we're in for a treat uh tomorrow. And so I there's nothing more to say. Any more <laughs> questions or comments? Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Miss Deborah M. Rick. <laughs> hey, Janine A. Ingram. <laughs> I just want to give some love to Minister Joanne. You did a phenomenal, as usual, job. Great job. Always, always, always. And just wanted to say, as soon as I heard your voice, I automatically saw your beautiful smile. <laughs> I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, my love. <laughs> oh, man, it's exciting. I just want to also uh, let you know that Miss Ajika 
Mojica will be. Oh, let me say Jika. Mm, I didn't gave her a new name. <laughs> but y'all know Mojica will be speaking on when the when you have the spirit of not enough in your bank account, how to shift the energy around. And that's going to be something that I think a lot of us will want to hear. When the spirit of not enough is in your bank account. <laughs> I was like, wow. So I just wanted to come in and just um, say thank you, Mr. Joanne. I know probably a lot of people want to shout out to you. It's, it was a pleasure to hear your voice. And I wanted to say uh, when I was listening to uh, Linda speak, I was thinking about before she even came on, I was thinking about all of the love exercises we did and how you embodied the exercises, how you would share with us, you know, the love letters. You know, I would ask people to do the love letters, and Joanne mm-hmm. was the first one to share her love letters, you know, love exercise, you know, to send yourself a, a love letter in the mail or send yourself a love card or whatever the love exercise mm-hmm. was. So Joanne was one of the first people to always share and to see you in the walking, the walking embodiment of that love because I really feel that no matter what you do and how you do it, I don't care if you ask or don't ask. If you're not valuing yourself, if you're not loving yourself, you do not attract. Because we really, you know, when we get in the flow or the alignment the way we're supposed to be, you don't have to do nothing. You show up and the money comes. The money will chase you and overtake you when you begin to value you and value the work that you are and the gift that you are to the planet. You know, so I'm just excited to see your growth and see where you are today. It's exciting to see you and to be in you. And I tell you, one thing, I had to give it to Rosa J. Baby, she don't let a day go by where she don't let us know how you blessed her with her (laughs) website. (laughs) She is definitely a walking advertisement for you, Minister Joyce. She is walking in advertisement for you. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, DeVore. You guys are doing a great job. I'm going to go back on mute just to listen. Yeah, well, I want to thank say. You. Um, oh, go ahead. Was this Joanne? Yeah, I wanted to oh, um, to say something about, you know, when you talk about the love exercise and stuff, I mean, it really does make a difference. It really attracts. So what I've attracted into my life recently, well, there's a couple of things because I just recently finished doing um, – a challenge, a brand challenge, brand story challenge, which, which helped me to really step out and start branding my business. But there was also a component of that, which was get seen, get heard, get paid. And so, and me promoting and getting, putting, you know, word out about overcoming the fear and posting out there, you know, that this is what I do, you know, that there's a sister who found me on LinkedIn and she has a ministry called the PAM Project, which means preserve a mom. And she reached out to me, wanting to know more about my ministry and inviting me to know more about her ministry. And she has um, events that are all about self-care because she feels that mothers don't take enough care of themselves. And even though I'm not a mother biologically, you know, I'm a caregiver to my mother. And, you know, I'm just a caregiver, period. But um, she's been having these events. And I tell you, I mean, just this past Sunday, I was at Lord and Taylor's in Manhattan at her event, and I was getting me a facial. I don't even like people in my face, but I tell you, that thing felt so good, and we had a makeup class and everything. A couple of weeks before that, I had went to, she had a brunch, and I went to the brunch, won the free raffle for the brunch, didn't even have to pay for my brunch. I'm telling you, God is good, and when you start to love yourself and take care of yourself, you will attract loving experiences in your life. So thank you, thank you, thank you, because that's one of the things that I got on the love journey, learning how to love myself, doing the work, doing the work. It works, and you get results. And so I'm just so grateful, even with walking in my purpose, showing up on the love journey, being a contributor, you know, daily and stuff, all of that, you know, showing up, being present, and that helped to build confidence, that helped you to step up, to stand up, be bold. I tell you, it's a beautiful thing. So everybody that's on the call, you already taking the right step. Now, after a while, when you start taking in all that information, you got to put it to work. Apply what you hear because you already know and you already have what you need to do what you need to do. So put it to work. You got this and God got you. 
You I'm got this thing. and God got you, girl. That's a song right there. I'm <laughs> telling you, uh, both of you, I mean, uh, Janine, when you said you just got to value yourself, that's just like, you know, that's, I could just feel the vibration of that. Because Maya Angelou said that if you hold your gifts in contempt, the rest of the world will too. So you got to value. We must value what we bring, who we are. And up this, and, and that, that goes back to the energy, the feeling, the knowing internally, because just saying it is not enough. But really knowing it and believing it, yes, 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 it works. I see it working in my life. And then you uh, – you said what I was about to read that you had already said, Joanne, and that was when you get seen and heard, you get paid. I wrote that down. Paid is in capital letters. <laughs> capital letters. <laughs> because let me tell you, uh, someone told me when I was in Atlanta down there with Lisa Nicholson and Steve Harvey, uh, one of the people that uh, Steve Harvey bought her company and she works with Steve Harvey now, she said, you can't have no quiet hustle. You cannot have a quiet hustle. And, mm-hmm. you never, she's, and, and you and see and you cannot be a secret. Somebody else put it this way. You cannot That's be right. a secret and get paid. You Come cannot out of be high. a secret and get That's paid. Right. So we gotta we gotta and you said yourself, Joanne, be a yes to life. You gotta be a yes. Yes, I'll mm-hmm. do this. Yes. Sometimes I say yes before I catch myself. The no that's trying to come up and say, well, I can't, I, I'm not available, I'm too busy or whatever. <clears throat> so thank you. Anybody else as we're about to wrap up, uh, anybody else, anything that I have been missed to say? <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, this has just been amazing. Uh, thank you, Deborah, um, for doing a phenomenal job as always. And hosting, and uh, to you, Minister Joanne, I just want to, first of all, so good to hear you back again here on the Love Journey. I just want you to know we have missed you, missed you so much. Uh, you're all, always beautiful, your poetry, you're always reading your poetry, you're telling your stories, you're a great storyteller, and thank you so much. Um, this is Zakia, and, you know, I just want to say, Minister Joanne, that, um, you know, you were talking about fear. And I honor you and Deborah and Linda and Rosa J and all of those um, beautiful lady love who got past your fear and just did the dang on thing <laughs> and <laughs> awesomely and have awesomely done so. And, you know, Minister Joanne was one of the first um, people that I asked to uh, edit my book. And she she gave me an assignment. So I'm like, <laughs> she gave me an assignment that was way overwhelming for me, and and I let fear of not being good enough and not being good enough and not being good enough uh, stop me in my tracks again um, from uh, going forward with the book. But I just want you to know that she loves you so much that she encourages you and um, supports you, and it's always, and I've always known that um, it would soon come, but I just thank you, Mr. Joanne, for having the patience with me, for supporting me and encouraging me, and each time I get to just chip away, chip away and chip away at that fear, then uh, I become, I blossom into who I am to be. So I am continuing to thank you for being a part of this journey, with me and that um, because of you and because of so many others who have loved me through this, it, it shall be first and fourth in 2016. And so I just want to say thank you and for all the phenomenal support that you give to others with Rosie J, with her website, beautiful. I just continue to bless you as you bless others. Please don't hesitate to come back again and share more of your beautifulness with us because we need you. And I need to contact you about about Mama because I got some things going on with my Mama too. So um, mm. thank you for sharing that this morning um, because we, you know, we have a lot to do for our Mamas. So yeah. love you so much. God bless love you as you too. continue the journey forward. And, again, thank you for being here. Namaste and You're love welcome. to everyone. And, um, and thank me, you. Jo- go ahead. 
ahead, Joanne. Go ahead. Um, you know, when you um when we first started our journey and I remember when we started our book and when you started sending me the emails where you had come to the point where you were ready to receive money. <laughs> And I remember you sending me the email. It is my desire to get paid. So this is my <laughs> new invoice. And I said, you know what, girl? I said, I'm all right with that. I didn't get mad. I wasn't angry or anything. Just put the little bit of money that I paid you for the work you did on my book, because you remember, I could not see a thing. Mm-hmm. I was willing to pay more than that. So for those people who are afraid to say, you know what, I've been working with you for a while, and this is now my new asking rate, remember you deserve it because you serve more than is required. And that's what Joanne does, more than is required. And um, so don't be afraid to ask. I'm talking to myself. (laughs) (laughs) That's your own sermon, a sermon to you. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? Because the reality is the people who don't honor you for real when you give them free advice. And being in my multi-level business, they don't honor you when you give them free products. Some of them use it, some of them don't. I met a girl who, uh, my sister is a prime example. For Mother's Day, I gave her lose weight tea. Does she did she use it? I doubt it. She probably still has three or four bags sitting on top of her counter because she hasn't lost the pound. Mm-hmm. So remember, a lot of times you think I think that I'm helping people by giving them the they they don't do it. They don't they just don't do it. So from here on in when people ask me, Can I give? I do what the man told me. You need this program. If you can't afford the $15 or you can't afford the $25 to buy the product, then you need to join the company because you need some money. <laughs> That's my answer, my new thing for January. If you want a free product, you need to come into my business so that you can get it at wholesale. And then you won't have to worry about making money. So I, I, I am now moving into that whole realm of, you know, put it out there. But this is not a free service. It is. Like they say, they say no free lunches. No, no free lunches, lunches, right? Mm-hmm. No free lunches. Well, on no that free, note, I no have. No free dinners either. Okay, so uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, on that note, I have, um, you know, for anybody interested on my website, I have a lot of free downloads now. I have, um, <laughs> you know, if you want, <laughs> if you want. You know, if you need some writing tips, stuff to, you know, help you, you know, organize your book or whatever, get your, your content in order and stuff, I have a free download on that. I have one on speaking your truth out loud. That's a um, that's actually a video uh, presentation. So, Joanne, why don't you uh-huh. go ahead and give out your information? I'm going to let you wrap things up. Uh, you're going to have the pretty much the last word. If you if you can do this, give out your information for those who don't know you. It seems like those who speak and they know you, but there are people on the call who don't know who Joanne Meekin. I didn't know that you were a minister. I kind of kind of sort of knew it, but I wasn't 100% sure. So give out any information so that people can reach out to you and connect with you. And also, uh, if you would be so uh, gracious, I would love for you to say a prayer as we close. Oh, definitely. Love to. Okay, okay so my information. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, Minister Meekin. When you finish that, I'd like to ask a question, please, before you take us out, please. I'm trying to get okay. in, but everybody's talking. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jackie. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, so, so I mean, you, I'm all over the place, but I, I'll direct you to my website, which is Inspired for You Ministries. Um, you can also get there by putting my name in, JoanneMeekins.com. Are inspired for you ministries dot com, which is I N S P I R E D, the number four, the letter U ministries M I N I S T R I E S dot com, and there you'll find all the links to my social media presence where I'm at, and um, my free downloads and stuff, you know, and I have I streamlined it so you know you can find my author page, my speaker page, you know, my publishing and web services page. You know, all that information is there for you. And go check it out. There's some good stuff up there. 
uh, oh, for you. Please, please, people. I, uh, I'm was, not, um, I'm not a, is I'm this King? Yeah, he's speaking, speaking too fast. I, I, I don't even think I got the first word written down. Oh. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, repeat that, Joanne, and then Jackie. Okay, inspiredforyouministries.com. That's my website. And so that's inspired with a D, the number four, the letter U, inspired for you and ministries dot com. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jackie? Yes. Um, <laughs> Minister mm-hmm. Meekins, thank you so very much for coming to the call. I felt like you was telling my story. Um <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, she's telling it. She's talking about me, you know, <laughs> especially, you know, um, not showing up for myself mm-hmm. and not and showing up for everyone else, you know. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I come to someone else call and make sure I'm there on time and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I recognize that. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, Jackie, what about your call? I'm like. I ain't trying to let no one come to my call. I want to be on everybody else's call. I, I'm not advertising myself. I'm not advertising Phoenix Rising. You know, I'm not. I don't want to send out no um, no reminders to come to the call and whatnot. Because if I don't send out no reminders or let no one know about the call, they won't come to the call, and then I'll be there, and I don't have to be worried about being afraid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was talking to you. You were in mind when I was preparing this message. I just didn't want to blow you up and say, Jackie, I didn't tell you come out hot. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. You, I was talking to you. <laughs> I felt every bit of it. I felt every bit of it, and uh, and my and my beautiful queen Zakia is always telling me, Jackie, go back to the call. Hear what you are saying. Mm-hmm. You are powerful. Yes. And how do I believe that? Mm-hmm. How, you know. I just have to be, trust and believe, but it's not really. But resonant. no, 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 no. You can listen to the. Did you hear the people talking about you last night? Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm proud of you. I applaud you for sending me the text <laughs> message to remind me about the call. But you need to do that on a broader scale. I, like I told you before, you need to send out those announcements on Facebook. Do what you got to do. But I'm proud that you took that step and at least let me know about it. And so. You know, congratulations. But go back and listen to that call. You should hear yourself. You were powerful. So, Joanne, and on can that I, note, it seems to I, me that there's something that we, we get to start to feel because I think that, Jackie, I can relate to that, and now I'm feeling as I speak to people. I have another speaking engagement on Thursday, and I feel so confident that I'm going to deliver. And I'm going I'm to yeah. be wonderful, right? And I did one yeah. last night. So here's the thing. I think that what you're talking about, Jackie, is you want to feel what we're talking about. You want to feel that feeling of being powerful and being enough and being more than enough to use Janine's words. And so is that does that nail it for you, Jackie? I mean, that kind of like you want to yeah. feel that. Yeah, keep, yeah. I say keep doing it. You just exactly, that consistency, it. exactly. That's how you, you do it. You just got to keep doing it. That's it. That's it. it ain't going to come. That's it. You, no matter how many times you listen to the call, you're going to hear you, and he's like, I sound good, but you want to feel it, and you just got to keep doing it, and you will feel it. Trust mm-hmm. and believe. You will. That's you will it. feel it. It'll come, and one day, and you're going to feel so good. It's going to feel so good, girl. <laughs> I'd like to interject. i like to interject here, if you don't mind. Yes. No, don't mind. Not don't. <laughs> so, Jackie, I was right where you were when I started the Love Journey call for years. And I tell you, for years and years and years and years. And then one day I asked God, I was praying. I said, God, I say, I come to this call every day, but I still don't feel worthy of doing this call. No matter how many people tell me you do a phenomenal job, and no matter how many times I would listen to the call and be in tears from my own words, and I would hear my own prayers and be inspired, but I still didn't feel good enough. And I didn't even put two and two together till one day I was praying to God and Spirit say, when you going to feel and know that you're more than enough already? And so then I had to start doing up my work on my loving myself game. 
I had to start up leveling myself. And then one day I woke up and realized that I am more valuable than I even imagined myself to ever be. But it had to do I had to start to see myself as valuable and worthy. The reason why I didn't advertise People say, well, how did you get 8,000 people? It did it on its own because I ain't do nothing. How did you get the people to the call? I didn't do nothing to get people to the call because you know why? Because I was afraid. I was afraid to let people hear me because I still didn't believe I was good enough no matter how many people came. I, I got thousands and thousands of testimonies of people who said, you changed my life, Janine. I wouldn't be where I am. People who wanted to commit suicide said they stopped and decided that what would Janine do? I don't care how many people told me that. I still didn't feel good enough, Jackie, until I decided one day to really go in and, and really go introspective into my own self. And I'm going to tell you two things that's going to change you. It's doing your love exercises and doing your inner child work. When you start to do those things and start to release yourself from that dumb stuff that you're telling yourself in your mind, like I was telling myself that dumb stuff, that I wasn't good enough, I would listen. And even though my stuff was good, I would listen for little things like the words I said wrong. Oh, today you said that word wrong. But it was good to listen because I learned to articulate my words better. It was good to give myself the self um, criticism, but it wasn't good because I was still too critical of myself because I wasn't listening for the good. I was listening for the bad. I wouldn't want to, you know, go back and listen to ourselves. You know what we do? We go back to listen to what we did wrong. We never go back to say, well, let me think how good I did. We say, let me see what I did wrong so I can do better. I learned not to do that. I learned to listen to myself. Now, do you know when I first used to hear my voice, I did not like my voice. Today Mm -hmm. I've learned to like my voice. I have learned to like and understand where my sweet spot is because I learned where my voice sounds good. And I've learned so much, but it took me learning to love, appreciate, and release myself from those fears. you got to do the work. And so all you're saying right now is, Jackie, I need to do the work. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. You got to step you your game repeat, up. Repeat, repeat what the work is. You said inner child work and something else you said. And a love work. I'm going to tell you, there's nothing more powerful you can do on this planet more than loving yourself. But when you pour your love on yourself, you open yourself to hear God because God and love is synonymous. Mm-hmm. The more I begin to love me, the more the Bible became clear to me. I it used to be a time when I used to read the Bible and it didn't mean one thing to me. I did not even understand what faith means. One day I was meditating on faith, and Spirit told me when I was reading. When I, now when I read the Bible, it's so much clearer to me because I have a direct connection because I don't have that junk in the middle of me no more. It's just me and God, me and Spirit, me and divine, me and the Creator. Because when you're not loving and valuing yourself, you cannot hear God. I don't care how many people tell you. I don't care how many days you go to church. I don't care how much you read that Bible until you learn to love and appreciate the aspect of you because you're an aspect of God. You are the walking embodiment of God on earth. And sometimes we think that it's all just about this one thing, but I'm going to tell you, the best connection you can ever get is when you start to meditate and begin to meditate on love, and then it's going to open your eyes to God to who God is and who you are in God and how God is in you and how you guys are one and how amazing the spirit of love and divine and God that created the infinite wisdom is in your life. And then when you walk out and do your stage work or when you get out there on your teleconference, you realize that you're just doing what God has called you to do. Mm-hmm. You realize that it has never been just Jackie by herself. It has always been you and the divine. And when you get ready to open your mouth, you know it's the divine coming through you saying, hey, I am doing what God has called me to this earth to do. Now I stand firmly whatever platform I am, and I can say, I know I'm a gift to the planet. That just a few years ago, I wouldn't have been so passionate about it. I never said it like that. I know that I'm a gift. I know that God has called me to do what I do now. I know it without a shadow of a doubt. I'm so doggone confident in it that it is nothing that can shake my sheet, my chi, my energy, none of it, because I know that I know that I know, but it took love. It took me loving Janine. It took me writing love letters over and over again. It took me shifting my energy and recognizing that it was never in my thoughts that I had to get it out of my mouth. It was never in my words. It was in my heart, because when things are planted in your heart, 
That's why it's so hard to shift because we think it's just in the mind and our words, but it's in the heart. When I learned about the heart, the energy of the heart, and I learned that from Albert Einstein. I was reading Albert Einstein, Jackie. I promise you that everything in my soul, I promise you the room opened up. I never told nobody. And these lights just came off in the room, and I knew I was standing in the presence of the divine. And God began to speak. And it's something amazing when you're standing in the, you know that you know that you know when you're in the presence of the divine. It was just like a heat up in my body. And spirit said, you are on your divine purpose to teach love. I was like, wow. It's all about our energy. Hmm. You want to feel it, you got to feel it in your heart. You got to begin to connect to your heart. You got to begin to just open up your heart to Jackie. You got to give yourself permission to love the divine presence of Jackie because Jackie was sent to this earth to do what Jackie's been called to this earth. You are a powerful powerhouse that was created and manifested by the Most High to be planted where you are for such a time as this. And Jackie, until you know it. I don't care how many times you listen to yourself. I don't care how many people tell you. It's going to be like water on a dust back until you get it in your heart that you are the gift, that you are the powerhouse, that you were planted for such a time as this to do what you've been called to do. You got to do it. You got to do the work. And you got to say, yes, I surrender to the divine presence that I am each and every day. Surrender to the presence of the God in you the God self in you, the higher self, and say, I am here to do my God's work. And I promise you, you will feel and know a difference. That's all I got to say. Amen. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. What you saying? Girl, preach with all the power. You know what? I got to say this. I got to say what came for me is, I mean, I love everything you said. What what comes up for me is something you said, Joanne, as well, to put that with what Janine just shared, and that is to be authentic and to answer your call. Mm-hmm. For me, I know it's about, I want to know what my call is uniquely. What? How do I show up uniquely as Deborah M. Rick, the expression of God, not trying to emulate what people tell me I should be like or what somebody else, how she's showing up, how he's showing up. I think that's where I, for me, it's like that's when I have to start to have fun doing what I do. And it's like, how do I get to show up as you, God, me and you together? What you say, Joanne, you, you got this? God got yes. you? Feel not that's you. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, you got this. But it's like when you start to walk and you, you're in that rhythm of who you really know you are, last night I had more fun speaking than I've had in a long time because I was Deborah M. Rick. Mm. I wasn't trying to show up any, okay, I got to look like this, act like that. I, I said what I wanted to say. I said it the way I wanted to say it. And that to me is part of what you're sharing. Like when you, Janine, you started to show up as Janine A. Ingram, and you weren't trying to be like they say you're supposed to be, all that. And that's when you can, that's that's when you start to rock and roll and really, you really having fun doing what it is you came here to do. And Jackie, I just encourage you to do everything you all of us are saying to do, right? <laughs> and you're on track because, let me say this to you, Jackie, you are a king and queen maker. That's what I see you as. And and what I mean by that is you are such an encourager. I would not be doing She Stretch Radio right now if it wasn't for you. Mm. Zakia turned it over to me. Thank you, Zakia. And you called me up. I didn't even know a Jackie Cradle. And you called <laughs> me up and you said, Deborah, keep doing the radio show even if nobody listens. And I'm saying it back to you, sister. Because I was scared, too. I was scared, too. And like you, and that's why we don't send out notices, because we like, I don't want too many people listening to me mess up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, my friends can listen to me mess up, and I don't want her to listen to me mess up. <laughs> <laughs> to me mess up. You 
know what I mean? But when you, but so I'm saying it to you, my love. You, you may, you, you are part of what big part because I was sitting on my couch. I remember that couch just going over there to beautiful Asia. I remember I was sitting on my couch. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm giving this up because ain't nobody listening, and I don't. And you call me, and you just minister to me, and I listen to you because I said God is speaking. Mm-hmm. I did. I was like, this must be God because I was going to give it up. And you called me, and I didn't even, never met you, never seen you, never talked to you, none of that. And you called me up and said, don't do it. Even if it's going into the ethers, keep doing it. And that sticks with me. And that was over a year ago. That was last year. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So mm-hmm. you a queen a- maker, girl. I'm a queen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So just you know, I just would love you so much, and I and I love all of y'all. And uh, this this love journey, Janine A. Ingram is living and walking in her in her gift, and and I, I'm grateful for it because this is one of the most important communities I'm a part of mm. that allows me to evolve. And I'm I'm clear that last night my speaking engagement wouldn't have been as powerful and and wonderful had I not been a part of this community. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Mm-hmm. So enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else before um, Joanne says a prayer? Anybody else got, a, as they say in church, a burning desire? A burning desire. Good morning, team. Why are you calling people to the altar this morning, huh? Call the people to the altar. <laughs> 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 hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Who is this? Good I, morning. This is Carla. Hi, Carla. <laughs> I don't know your voice. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I just want to say to Minister Joanne, it is so refreshing to hear your voice, and I know that you have been so busy doing what God has for you to do, but it's always a blessing to hear you and to have you share. And to say, I want to personally say thank you to Minister Joanne, um, like Rosa said, if Minister Joanne knows that there's something you can, you're going to do, she is going to ask and she is going to keep you on task. And as I was doing my book, she would send me little, little notes just when I needed to hear, how's it going, where are you at in the process? Um, and she is the one who edited my book. So I just want to say thank you for all you do. And thank you for showing up as a mighty woman of God on this planet. And I am proud and honored to know you. Amen. Wow. Thank you, sweetie. I thank love you, you, Carla. <laughs> mm, beautiful. Wow. Woo. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, I, I, I feel like I've been wanting to say this, and this is for the brothers for last week, because I, I really have. I just, want, I just need to say this. I just... They so blessed me last week, and I, I all this morning I was like, "When are you gonna say it? When are you gonna say it?" This little part of me. So I just want the brothers to know, the men, the men, the men, that <laughs> thank you, that you so you all bless me so much, bless this community with your energy. We need you. In case you, if you ever forget, we need our men. I do. I need you. We all need you. Some of us forget how much we need you, but we need you, and we appreciate. All that you brought last week, all your masculine energy mixed with some feminine energy and some all your love and wisdom and laughter and kindness and support and love for us and yourselves. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, if there's nothing more, we can just breathe. Just breathe because we have been fed. We have loved each other. And I just want Joanne, Reverend Joanne Meekin, to bless us with a prayer. Looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow will be another day that we get to be blessed by our loving community, Joanne, I mean, uh, Janine uh, and James will host. And, and we have a guest, Ayana Mojica. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Love you all, Joanne. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for the love. 
the love of the love journey, the love of you, dear God. I thank you for connecting us, Father God, as family, dear God, as sisters and brothers, dear God. Lord, I thank you that the love transcends time, it transcends distance, Father God, and you are just a beautiful spirit residing in our hearts, Father God, connecting us one to another, dear God, building one another up, Father God. We thank you for all that has taken place this day, Father God. I thank you for all the love, dear God, that you've blessed me with, dear God, in my sharing today, Father God. I thank you for each and every soul that showed up on the call, Father God. And Lord, I pray that you would add increase to the seed that was sold, dear God, to the seed that was watered, dear God, and that you would bless each and every one with a fresh anointing, mm-hmm. Father God, that you would help them to walk in purpose, Father God, to do what you gifted them to do in boldness and confidence, dear God, knowing their worth, doing the work, Father God, coming to know you better, loving themselves more, Father God, growing us to new heights in you each and every day. Pour out a blessing to family members, to extended family members. Be about all that concerns them. Perfect those things, dear God. Help them with transcending peace. To cast their cares, to not worry about anything because you know the details. You got them, dear God, and they got this, Father God. So bless them. Bless them. Bless them to overflowing and abundance, dear God, that we will all walk in our greatness, dear God, being a reflection of love and light across the planet, planet, making a shift, dear God, making a shift, dear God, with our prayers, with our love, with our light, with us showing up transparent and authentic, dear God, speaking our truth out loud and being a reflection of you each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it is. So it is. Bless you all. Coming, coming at ten thirty. Amen. 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 Bless you all, and tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Love and light. Love and light. Love and light.